Welcome back to another vlog guys and I come with very good news. Oh my god, I cannot believe I am saying these words. We are finally out of our lease. Those of you who have been watching my vlogs will know we've been in a, not I wouldn't say a battle, but there's been ongoing discussions with a previous landlord trying to get out of our lease. It was nearly gonna happen and then they pulled the rug on us last minute which was very unfortunate, very costly for us to get the unit handed back to them, but we've still been liable for everything ever since. It's just been daunting, expensive, and just a headache basically. But I am very happy to say it is done. It's not our unit anymore. New tenants already moved in, moving in, we paid. We've signed uh, the surrender. We're not liable for, for that lease any longer. So we could not be more happy, man. We've been trying to get let go of that unit. So we stopped trading in that unit October of last year. That's how long it's been. We've been responsible for the rent. We've been responsible for the service charge ever since. We've been responsible for it all. So we are so happy, so happy to have that cost just gone. It's happy days. I know our solicitors are gonna be buzzing. I'm buzzing. I know the accountants are gonna be happy. I talked them about it as well. Oh yeah, it's just happy days, man. Happy days. Do I say the landlord is? Mm. So the landlord is Ox Park. Ox Park. So we had a unit at Box Park Croydon. And uh, let me tell you, yeah, let me tell you, let me give you a lowdown of how it all went down. So everything. When you sign up for something, obviously the, the, they're your best friends. Anything you need. They show you the glitz and glam, they show you all the shiny stuff. I'm, I'm just seasoned, I knew this, but still I'm thinking, okay, maybe we can pattern this. We originally applied for Shoreditch, Box Pot Shoreditch, we was like, we're offering, which is vegan fast food, will work so well in East London. There's already some units around there that do really well. I know we'll kill it out there, right? They're like, yeah. But we've got this new unit that's just available right now in Croydon Box Park. It's popping, the air is up and coming. You guys will kill it. We've got a, a new unit for you available right next door to another vegan place with different offerings. So you're gonna work really well together. It's gonna be amazing. I'm thinking, hey, mate, sounds good then. Fuck it, you guys know best in it. Why would you sign, bring a tenant on if I mean, they're not gonna perform well since that's where you make your money. You get a percentage of whatever we make, right? You want us to do well, so that makes sense. You guys have got all the data. You know where we're gonna thrive the most. So it makes sense. Let me listen to you guys. Not listen to you guys, but let me take your guys' advice into consideration. We're thinking, let's do it. It's a good idea, a sign. We had no idea. These guys have proper leases, by the way, like a commercial lease. It's not a joke. I thought it'd be like an agreement, like we're just traders, trading out of a little eight foot container. We thought it'd be like a casual agreement. Turns out it wasn't a casual agreement. It's a, it's a proper lease. So we sign it. We signed this lease and then almost immediately, almost immediately, you have no friends there basically. We realize where they make all of their money is at the bar. So they're not bothered if people are uh, eating or not. They're not bothered how you do well as a trader because they're constantly throwing parties. They're constantly closing the, the unit down for like a private event. And I don't know about you, but if I'm going to a private event, I'm going on a night out with my mate, R&B night or a this night or a quiz night, well, all these things. I'm not going there to fuck it. I'm not going there to feast. I'm not going there to eat lots of food. I'm going there to drink. Maybe I've had, had a little pre-drinks at my friends. Like, you know what I mean? So already I started to hear murmurs with all the tenants basically saying, like, this has gone down the pan. They're really, all they care about is the, the bar spend. And then when the football came around, it was the Euros. I was like, oh, we're gonna shut it down. Was it the Euros? No, World Cup. Well, we're gonna shut it down. Without realizing that they, not only do they close it and sell tickets, they have so many drinks offers on. And also, all people wanna do when they've had a drink or two, they either want a burger or they want a pizza. None of them are trying any of all the different food. So never mind the books, right? The vegan fast food, fair enough, we do like vegan burgers, etc. But there's places there that do like, like Spanish food, the fucking, there was like a Pakistani place that had Pakistani foods and all different types of foods. They're not seeing any bread, no bread whatsoever. Since we were there, we saw four places close down. 
some places some of the guys that we were we were friends with we'd speak with they were saying it's a sticky one they just don't care about the trainers anymore so we was like shit maybe we've we are, i think we've really made a mistake let's hang on push marketing let's see what we can do so we did our thing don't get me wrong we're making money but it's it's it, it wasn't enough for all the costs service charge and the rent the rent's not cheap the rent is like you're paying like doing a bit grand a month so it all catches up to you very very quick especially when you have a month of of a lot lots of events that they've thrown on and close to the public so it's not even looking booking come in like let's say you have a viral post on Instagram or TikTok or you get an article post you and then bear loads of people want to come down to try your food right what happens is they get to box park and two things happen they say have you got a box park black card no and they're like oh well, you need to scan this code and, and sign up and people are like I ain't doing all that and they'll leave or it's an event on and people are greeted with oh do you have tickets and they go oh no I just wanted to get some food and like sorry it's closed for a private event that's it and I don't know about you, but that happens a couple of times and I'm not going back. Let alone if I've travelled to Croydon. Croydon's not in London. If I've travelled to Croydon to try out a place that I've seen on social media, you get one, maybe two tries, and after that, if it's too much hassle to get the food, I'm not going back. So anyway, I say all that to say, don't get me wrong, I'm only trashing the, the operation side of it. The staff, the mega, Oh, do you know what? All the staff there are, are mega. The managers, the people that work at the bar, etc. They're lovely. They were amazing, and but they were all sound. Hi, even the, the higher ups, they were cool. The higher ups, they were cool. I wish they were a bit more easier to play ball with once we had issues. But again, it is what it is, right? This is their work. If if they was gonna let people just just leave their leases and stuff like that, they wouldn't have a business. But all that being said, I wish they had a better understanding of what it's like to be a small business. And I, I, I they, they, they don't, they just don't. So anyway, the surrender's signed, they've signed it. We're done, the lease is done. We are very, very, very happy. And there is nothing else for us to worry about. Right, enough yapping. I am currently at our co-host location, about to let the plumber in since they're, they're fixing the toilet. And then that's gonna be it for the day. It's a very, very short morning. Oh, I need to go to the post office. I'm sending some from studios to my boy, Giuseppe, a good friend of mine. He always rocks uniform. I sent him some clothes a few months ago and he still wears them, still wears them on his Instagram story, tags the brand free of charge, which I'm very grateful for and were close to people before and they don't even wear them and don't tag them so very very grateful Giuseppe got some new bits coming out to you so that's the plan for the day peace what's going on people I think I've done it again printed a bad boy sweater let me put it on what do we think guys should probably do it in white in it is it all right in this color what do you think let me know the decent in this color it's like a black Obviously I know it comes up a little bit, it looks like a little bit brown or a bit dark grey, but you're supposed to be black. But what do we think? Let me know. Take a time, literally take two seconds and just comment. What do you think? I like it. Hi babe. What do you think of the black on black? Let me show you. Yeah, I like it. Oh, it looks grey. Yeah, I know. It looks a bit off, doesn't it? Like a brownish or grey, but... Yeah. I like it. Fucking with it. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah, I do. Yeah. What's going on people? Oh, I'm back in Manchester man, back. The lakes was amazing. I went to the lakes on my birthday. Walked a little lodge up there. We went to the, uh, we was up in Keswick. Uh, near Cumbria, I think it is. It was amazing. Uh, we're just chilling, we went with our friends, a little R&R, &R, a little relaxation station, but yeah, it was good, man. We're back in Manchester now, so we're back active. My birthday's on Sunday, the 31 on Sunday. I'm probably gonna do a little something with Saffron, nothing too crazy, because we're going to London next weekend. So yeah, I'm very, very excited for that. We're going to London for two nights. And yeah, we're staying in East London, so there'll be a change of, change of scenery from staying in uh, Central by the water. Right now, we are currently on our way to Vegan Shack Piccadilly Gardens. We've launched 
two more specials, a shake and a burger. So we're just on our way in now to take some content of that. And then uh, just check in with the team really. I've seen them in about a week, I think. Uh, we've been moving house. Oh, guys, I might have told you we've moved house. So obviously before we had a, we was in a flat in town and we in the burbs, baby. We in the suburbs. Wait, let me show you the block later on. Life's changed. Talk to me nicely. Talk to me nice. Quiet estate. You can sleep with the window open. You won't hear a peep. Life's different right now. Life's different, man. I'll show you the ends later on. Okay, we've been moving house. Then we went to the lake, so it's been a bit busy. So we're gonna tap in with a team and just catch up. We take some content, and then that's it. We're back in the office tomorrow. We've got some stuff to do before I go to London, so check in tomorrow. I've got some stuff to print, some stuff to make before we go to London, so I can do some more content in London. The new collection for Uniform Studios is dropping at the end of the month. End of the month. And Lomcars is also launching T minus 60 days, two months at the end of August. So very excited for that. The pallet has arrived from China. I need to go pick that up. That's two doors down from our unit. So I'm going to go collect that on Monday. I think the next time they'll be in. Exciting stuff. Very exciting time. And let's get it. That is it for the day. I'm currently headed back home. I took content of the new specials and let me just say, I know I've said this before, but I'm not lying. I'm not even exaggerating. This month's burger of the month, the spicy barbecue bacon, is the best burger we have ever done. It is easily the best burger that I've ever had. I can't believe it. Emma has outdone herself. The sauce is insane. She made the sauce herself. The combination is insane with the grilled onion. Honestly, it's fucked. It is so good, guys. If you're in Manchester, please swing by, try it. Drop a comment or message me and just let me know what you think of it. I know you're gonna love it. It's, it's unreal, man. It is insane. I'm so gassed. The shake is a cherry Bakewell shake this time. And it was gonna do really well. We've had a lot of people coming in for it already. Yeah, two strong contenders this month, so I'm so gassed, man. I'm really excited for this. Can't wait. I'm going to pop in tomorrow and have another burger because it's unreal, man. Unreal. Yeah, yo, we're back at home now. Uh, we've still not fully unpacked, as you can see, but we're getting there. Um, let me show you the new ends, man. Let me show you the new, the new neighbourhood. We're in the burbs now, like I said. What's going on people? It's a new day, final day. We are on our way to the gym. And guess what? It's my birthday. I am 31 years of age. I'm grown. You see the estate in the background? Life's changed, man. You're just looking a bit black mirror-ish, but it's a nice estate, new build. We live in different. 31 years of age in a new crib. Very, very happy. I can't believe it's my birthday. It comes around so quick. Time is flying. Safran asked me, did I think I'd be where I am at 31? And do you know what? I thought I'd be right here. Maybe another kid, but right here. Crazy, man. But the good thing is, so we actually used to live in this area. Before we moved to London to open up Box Park, we actually used to live in this area. So we know this area very well. The area is Worsley, Worsley in Manchester. And I uh, just love it, really like it. It's actually, it's got my favorite gym that I've been to in the entire world. Ga I'm gassing. My favorite gym that I've been to in the UK is here. So I'm so gassed. We got to sign back up and I am so, so happy because it's just dope, man. It's spacious. We've got so many machines, high ceilings, aircon. It's on the more expensive side than you like your pure gym or your JD gym, but it's good. It's a really good gym. It's clean all the time. It's just really good, really good, really good. Oh, that's the gym done, guys. That was a really good arm session. I'm gonna go home right now, enjoy the rest of my birthday. Gonna have some food. I think we're gonna step out later on for some dinner. I'm not too sure. I don't know if I'm feeling it. I'm, I don't know. Let's see how the day goes. But yeah, that's it. We're back in the office tomorrow. So we're going to be filming in the office next week. Finalising Nomcos, the lip balm business. And also finalising Uniform Studios, the next drop. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate all the views. 
really appreciate all the subscribes. I'm nearly at 500 subscribers, which is crazy, because that means I'm going to be able to monetize soon, which is nuts. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, really appreciate it. See you in the next one. Peace.